Callouts can be linked to CAD details, save plan views, camera views, and wall details in a current plan or in an external plan. Let's take a look at the process beginning with linking to a CAD detail from a callout. I'm going to use the callout tool and come over and place a callout near the garage door. I'm going to give the callout label a number of D15 for detail number 15. Text below the line may be the layout page you're going to use. Also, if you are marking this to be automatic, when you send that out to the layout, it will pre populate the layout page number for you. Then I'm going to move over into the link panel for this callout and I'm going to click on the link button. To link this to a CAD detail, I'm going to come over and choose the garage portal frame detail. You see a preview of it. And then one minor thing on the attributes panel, I'm just going to add a cross section line. We'll close the view. Let's rotate that down into the area for the garage door. When I double click on the callout, this will open up the CAD detail that's built inside of this plan. And if you send it out to the layout sheet and you have the automatic text selected in the callout plan itself, the marker would have a cross section with the page number for the layout sheet. Callouts can also be linked to save plan views. Let's repeat the process. I'm going to come over, select the callout tool, place it in the garage area. And for this callout, I'm going to link this to a saved plan view. For the purpose of the video, I'm just going to call the layout panel floor plan. On the link panel, I'm going to come over into the save plan views. I'm going to choose the option for the floor plan save plan view. And then when I double click on this callout, the save plan view for the floor plan opens. You notice the extra tab that's been open. In the drop down above, you see that it's switched the save plan view. And by linking that callout to the save plan view, it switches it over to this panel. The callouts can be linked to camera views. It can either be an elevation view or a perspective view. Using the callout tool, let's place one over here in the bathroom. On the callout panel, I'm going to call this B1. On the link panel, let's go out. I'm going to browse out to my camera views. And then I'll choose the option for the bath camera view. And then when I double click on that callout, that 3D perspective camera view will then open. The final callout link will be for a wall detail. Using the callout tool, I'm going to come over, place another callout off to the right hand side. In the callout label, we'll call this W1 for wall detail. On the link panel, I'm going to browse over into the wall details. And for the first floor, I'm going to choose wall detail number 26. And then when I double click on that particular call out, the specific wall detail would then be opened. To modify the link for your call outs, let me return back over in the floor plan view. I'm going to select the specific call out I want to link to. Use the open option. You're going to see two options underneath the link panel, relink and unlink. If I want to relink this to an external file that's not in the current file I have open, I'll choose the relink option. Then towards the bottom of this panel is open plan or layout. At that point, I'll go ahead and browse out, find the plan I want to link to. Notice in the display that there are two plans open. I'm going to come in, explore the CAD details from the top plan, then I'll select the desired detail, see the preview of it, and now I've relinked that specific detail to the new item from the external plan. When I double click on it, that specific detail is open and of course you can send that out to the layout sheet. Callout links can add helpful navigation to your plans. To learn more, please see the built-in help file or additional videos. Thanks for watching.